In this video, we're going to do an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0 that just released today. And the official Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0 book cover, both in white. So let's get to it. Now, I bought both of these today on launch day, April 11th, 2013. The tablet was $399.99, and the book cover was $49.99. So with tax and all that good stuff, my grand total was $478.55. And I got both of these at Best Buy. Right now, the note only comes in white, or at least at Best Buy, and the only cover they had was the white cover. It also comes in pink, green, and gray. So why don't we start with the note. Take a look at the box here. You have a sort of a, an interesting print on here. It's not glossy or anything like that. You have a representation of the note here. You have your branding here. It's the Wi-Fi version, 16 gigabyte. On the right side of the box, it has a seal here. It has uh, some information here that says this box is made from 100% post-consumer recycled paper and printed with soy-based inks. It's 100% recyclable, which is interesting. On this side, you have your Samsung Galaxy Note branding. Up top, some more branding. Again, the Wi-Fi 16 gigabyte version. On the bottom, I have covered the serial number and all that good stuff on this device. Now, on the back, it's interesting. It gives you the specs here. It's an 8-inch tablet, as the name would imply, measured diagonally. It has the S Pen. It has a 5-megapixel camera on the rear and a 1.3-megapixel camera on the front. It has an IR LED, so it has smart remote technology in here, universal remote control. So you can use this as a universal remote for your television set and your components. You have Android operating system. I believe it's Android 4.1 on here, but we'll get into that later. You have a quad-core processor here, 1.6 gigahertz quad-core processor. You have 2 gigabytes of LPDDR2 RAM, and it has full HD 1080p playback and recording, and it has a 4,600 milliamp battery. Then you have all your certifications here, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all that good stuff. So why don't we break the seal here with my trusty cutter and open this thing up. All right. Here we go. Galaxy Note, true multitasking with multi-window smart remote, S Note with web viewer, and high precision input with S Pen. The reason I got this is I'm gonna be selling a lot of my tablets, my iPad, I'm gonna sell my Nexus 7, and I wanted something new, but the real selling point on this was the pen and the multitasking. So you can have two windows open at once, and the pen is something new for me. This is gonna be my first ever Samsung Android product with TouchWiz on it. I had a Samsung Galaxy Nexus in the past, but that was stock Android. So this is a sticker up top here. We'll pull that off in a second. But uh, looking at the device, it's a nice size and uh, it's a nice weight. So let's put that to the side and see what else is in the box here. As we open it up, all this recyclable material here, you have some documentation here. You have the USB cord, you have the wall plug here with Samsung branding on it here, and it plugs in on the side there. Of course, the US version for those of you watching outside the United States, and that's pretty much everything in the box. So let's put that to the side, and let's take a look at the book cover before we get into the tablet itself. So they only had two of these at Best Buy. And there's some tape here, so let's open that up. Again, it does come in several other colors, but at Best Buy, they only had two white ones. 
So white, I might be using this on the road or I might just keep it in the house, I haven't decided. But uh, white, I think, will probably get dirty, but I assume it's going to be easy to clean, so not a big deal. But um, let's get this thing open here. There we go. Get it out of the plastic. Okay, it is a uh, white vinyl feeling material. It's actually textured. I don't know if you can see it there has the Galaxy Note 8.0 branding, Samsung branding up here. There's a little space up here. Now there are two versions of the Galaxy Note. There's one with a phone radio in it, and then here in the United States, they're only selling the Wi-Fi version at the moment. But I believe the version with the phone in it has a speaker up there. This one does not. So there is actually a cutout there. I don't think it's gonna come in handy on my model. But, uh, Let's pull this out here. Some foam innards there, and then it shows you how to place the tablet in there. We'll do that in a second. On the inside, it's a uh, fabric-like material. Very soft, so that you're not going to be scraping your brand new tablet. On the back, it's more of a rigid, not very rigid, but more rigid than the front, plastic. It's also textured there. I don't know if you can see it there, with your Samsung branding there and a cutout for the rear camera. And there's also, it appears that, I don't know what kind of buttons are on the device, but uh, you do have a, what appears to be probably the power button here and some cutouts on the top and whatnot. But we'll get into that when we actually put it on. So here is the Galaxy Note 8.0 and we're gonna do a little quick tour around the device here. Obviously, 8.0 refers to the size of the screen, measured diagonally, 8 inches. You have your Samsung branding up here. You have what appears to be the front-facing camera, and then probably the proximity sensor up front here. Down below, you have a menu button, a home button, and the back button. Now, generally, I don't like home buttons. I know that Apple's products have them, the HP touchpad had them. I'm not a big fan because I hit them accidentally a lot of the times. I prefer the software buttons. But I know Samsung does have home buttons on pretty much all of their devices. So we'll see how that works out for me. It has a white bezel here and it's pretty thin. You have uh, some metal colored plastic accents here. On the right side here, you have your IR blaster there, you have your volume rocker, your power button. Looks like there's a microphone there. Up top, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the left side of the device, it doesn't look like there's anything there, except here is a spot for your micro SD card, your micro SD card slot on the side. Let's close that back up. And on the bottom, it looks like you have two speakers and then your charging port down there. Now there's some plastic on the back here. Let's see if I can get that off. I always try and keep this as intact as possible because when I end up selling these things, I want to pretty much sell them in like new condition. So you can see back here, you have a glossy plastic with a uh, almost, almost pearl-like finish to it, but not quite. It's maybe a metallic white with sort of a crosshatch pattern on it, very slight. I don't know if you can make that out there. So let's peel the plastic off of the front here to reveal the 8 inch screen. And of course on the bottom here you also have the pen, which is one of the big selling points, at least for me, on this device. Right in there. 
And the pen has Samsung branding on it here. And then you have a button on the pen here. You can hear that. And then the stylus end actually, I don't know if you can see it there. Let me put this down. The end of the pen kind of pushes in there. So you have some give with the pen. Now, on the demonstration model at Best Buy, they didn't have the pen handy, so I didn't get to try it out. So before we fire this up, let's put it in its case here. And it will just snap in here, sort of reminiscent of the Motorola Zoom, the first ever Android tablet. Fits in there nicely. The cover I don't think it magnetizes, but it does fit on there nicely. Protects the tablet real nice, and it still has the cutout here for the pen, so you don't have to worry about that. And then for all your vital areas here, the volume rocker, the power button, the mic cutout, the IR blaster. Now let's see, the front has two joints on it here. You can see one there and then one there. So when you put it behind, okay, it actually magnetized on the back. You can see that. So when you flip it back, it magnetizes there. So you can place it down, gives you a little bit of an angle, or let's see if it'll work this way as well. No, it doesn't stand up this way. Magnet's not powerful enough for that. But it will give you a little slant that way, which is good if you're going to put it on a desk and maybe take notes this way, or if you want to draw or whatever you're going to be doing with this tablet. So that is the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0. Join me in my next video when I fire this up for the very first time. So that's going to do it for this video. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Also, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video if you want to help out my channel. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.